Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Divine Word Mission Seminary, I welcome you to the graduation ceremonies of Class 2022. Please rise for the Parade of Colors, followed by the National Anthem. Thank you, and please be seated. Beloved fathers, brothers, sisters, parents and friends, benefactors, ladies and gentlemen, today marks a very significant milestone in the lives of the 10 bright and zealous young seminarians and one diocesan priest from the Archdiocese of Yangon, Myanmar. They stand at the threshold of a new chapter in their lives. Today, these candidates will reap the fruitful harvest of four painstaking and memory-filled years of education at the Divine Word Mission Seminary as they are conferred the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Master of Arts in Philosophy. These candidates come from three congregations and one diocese. From DDM, Disciples of Divine Mercy of St. Padre Pio, MI, Ministers of the Infirm of St. Camillus, 
SVD, Societas Verbi Divini, or the Society of the Divine Word, and from Myanmar, Archdiocese of Yangon, Myanmar. And with this, we want to acknowledge and congratulate the student seminarians belonging to this associate program. They are college graduates and have finished a four-year or five-year degree course and joined the seminary and seminarians from other congregations and dioceses have compiled with the minimum requirements in philosophy, which prepares them for theological studies. The associate seminarians, please stand up when they hear their name and keep standing. Arasan Roy from the orders of Friar, Friars Minor Capuchin. Cabrera Jerick from the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer. De La Cruz Kevin from the Orders of Friars Minor Capuchin. Orquejo Michael from the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer. Vallejos Benjamin Joseph from the Society Societas Verbi Divini. Young Sing Him Bernard from the Oblates of Mary Immaculate. So let us rejoice and be glad in union with them for this wonderful day that our Lord has made. Let us give them a round of applause. We shall now have the, we shall now have Father Anthony Inson, SVD, Professor of the Divine Word Mission Seminary to present the graduates, after which the degrees of Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Master of Arts in Philosophy will be conferred upon them by our very own Reverend Rector and Dean of Studies, Father Pablito M. Tagura, SVD. Very Reverend Father Rector, in representation of the members of the Faculty of the Divine Word Mission Seminary, I hereby present these candidates who have fulfilled the requirements prescribed by law for the degrees Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Master of Arts in Philosophy and I recommend that they be conferred their degrees and distinctions with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining. In view of your successful completion of the requirements of your curriculum, Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Master of Arts in Philosophy, and hereby deserving the recognition of your efforts by which you have achieved the titles of academic distinction as fitting reward for the singular application of your talent and faithful dedication to your educational task. Now, therefore, with the approval of the Director of the Commission on Higher Education, National Capital Region, upon the recommendation of your Dean of Studies, and by virtue of the authority vested in the Divine Word Mission Seminary by law, I, as Rector, do hereby confer upon you your respective degrees, as well as the obligations and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Congratulations. the candidates for graduation for Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, Abinohar Justin Kyle.
Arma Junilo. Bautista Mark Beaver Miss Lang Jobbert. Pahayahay Dexter. Pelejo Clark Ken. Ramoso Limer Rombo John Lloyd Guban Chilo Tadeo Robert Ed.
in our candidate for the Master of Arts in Philosophy, Father Titus Koch. So let us give the graduates a big round of applause. We will now proceed to the distribution of the diplomas by Father Rector. He will be assisted by Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Vice Rector and Father Anthony L. Inson, SVD. Candidates for graduation, Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy. Abinohar Justin Kyle, SVD. Arma Janilo Bautista Mark Beaver, SVD. Miss Lang Jobert SVD. Pahayahai Dexter from SVD. Palejo Clark Kent from DDM. Ramoso Limer from MI.
Rongba Jan Lloyd from MI. Saguban Chilo from SVB. Tadeo Robert Eds from SVD. Master of Arts in Philosophy, Master Father Titus So from the Archdiocese of Yangon, Myanmar. <laughs> Once again, congratulations. And during the course of their studies at the Divine Word Mission Seminary, several seminarians distinguished themselves through their outstanding performance, through hard work and prayers. They have proven themselves worthy of our special recognition. Reverend fathers, brothers, sisters, ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to present the 2022 Honor Graduates. Manya Cum Laude, Tadeo Robert S. from SVD. Cum laude, Saguban Chilo B from SVD. Another cum laude, Ramoso Limer from MI.
Cum Laude, Miss Lang Jobert from SB. Bautista Mark Beaver, SVD. Cum laude, John Lloyd Rumble. The Masters of Arts in Philosophy, Manya Cum Laude, Father Saw Titus. And now for the special awards, Best in Thesis, Saguban Chilo. Academic Excellence Special Award goes to Tadeo Robert Ed. Congratulations to our honor graduates and awardees. As the graduates prepare to move on to the next stage of the seminary life, they look back with grateful hearts and express their thanks to the Lord, their parents and family members their benefactors, and all who had helped them in one way or the other reach this day. Let us listen to them as they say their graduate and present their graduation song. But first, let us call 
the senior last class representative Laimer Ramoso for the message and gratitude and after that they will render their graduation song. This day marks a grand accomplishment for the class of 2022. Giving earnest thanks is a bit daunting. One hopes the words chosen convey all the sincerity. It's very easy to know where to begin, yet it's difficult to know where to end. The journey to this graduation was long, with many obstacles and detours. Still, after countless challenges, including a global pandemic, it finally came to fruition. With hearts full of gratitude, we, the class of 22, would like to thank people who, in some way or another, contributed to our academic journey. Being a part of this mission seminary has truly been an enriching experience. Though it wasn't all easy sailing, much of where we have gotten today would not be possible without the support of our Dean of Studies, Reverend Father Pablito Tagura, SVD, with whom I can say that I'm not the only one present here proud to be a part of his class. Special thanks are also accorded to our distinguished professors who tirelessly gifted us their time and wisdom and stood for us as midwives assisting us as we were introduced into the world of insight. Their constant guidance through this academic journey has enabled us to embrace the values and lessons we receive from this institution, that which we will take with us as we embark on this next chapter of our lives. Our sincerest thanks also go to the non-teaching staff, who with their work ethic have gone above and beyond in aiding us in whatever help they may lend. To our formators and spiritual directors, whose exhortations and wise counsels have accompanied us in our religious formation. We are also deeply thankful to our families and dear friends who've encouraged us from the sidelines all the way through. They have been our backbone and strength to keep pushing on and never to give up no matter how difficult it was. They genuinely deserve much thanks. A special shout out also goes to our brothers in the community who have become our best distraction so that we can keep our sanity. Thank you for making the journey fun. And here's to more laughter and adventures. And on a bit of a personal note, I would like to especially thank my batchmates my fellow graduates, who through the highest high and the lowest low, from erratic debates to fitful group chats, unexpected food chips to missing Jollibee plates, I will forever hold each of you, the memories we share, and the things you have done for me, close and dear to my heart. Still, all of this pales in comparison to our immense gratitude to God who before we even spoke a word, had set out a path in which he has prepared for us. And he continues to do so as he writes our victory. He believes in us and is proud of us. Thank you, class of 22, and thank you all. I leave you now with these wise words from Pope Benedict. Dear friends, may no adversity paralyze you. Be afraid neither of the world nor of the future nor of your weaknesses. The Lord has allowed you to live in this moment of history so that by your faith, His name will continue to resound throughout the world.
So thank you very much. And once again, congratulations to our graduates. So that ends our simple and yet very meaningful graduation rites. Of course, before that was our baccalaureate mass. And so may God bless you all. And immediately after this ceremony, there will be a short, short program at the covered court. Everybody is invited. Thank you.